Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to talk about the latest pattern of the INI paper. Those of you who are experienced enough, who have already given the exam, you can skip this. Uh, you can skip this video. But yes, those of you who are giving it for the first time, it will be important. There are a few important things, small small things, which can make a lot of difference in your exam performance. Okay, so let's get inside the exam and take a mock exam and see how it goes. You have 180 minutes. You have 200 questions. You have some kind of a marking list, one mark for every correct question and one third will be deducted for every wrong question. Okay, that is the first thing you need to remember. Most of the time, uh, most of the times, questions which are marked for review are taken for uh, evaluation, but sometimes they end up not taking them for evaluation. So suggestion is always that do not leave a question marked for review. You might mark it in between, but in the end, definitely unmark it and submit it as a proper submitted response. Okay, this is one thing. Second thing, as I told you, there are 200 questions and the questions are of multiple varieties. You can have uh, sequence based questions. Okay, you can have uh, matching questions. So uh, they come like normal MCQs, but yes, in the stem of the question, you are going to see a sequence, you are going to see a matching kind of a two columns will be there where you have to match A to 1, B to 2, something right. like this. Right. Apart from that, there could be multiple completion questions also in which you have to take multiple responses and obviously they will be there in uh, below as A, B, C, D only but every option is going to have a multiple completion like multiple stem ke andar jo aapko diye hai, teen chaar options, un mein se, a mix and match of those options will be there. So multiple completion is also a type of question you are going to see. And why I'm telling you about this is because normal questions in which you have a one line question and one option answer, you can do them very fast. Okay, hardly 15 seconds are required. Either you know it or you don't know it. Most of the times you can do it in 15 seconds. But when you have the questions which are of different variety, statement based questions, okay, true and false questions, multiple completion questions, or mix and match, you know, two columns are there, you have to match them, sequence based questions, they take a lot of time. Many a times they can take up to 30 seconds to 45 seconds and that can lead to time loss. Okay. Where do you find these questions? Okay. First we are going to talk about what are the uh, various sections. The questions are going to come in four sections. Okay. And uh, always when you are starting the paper, you must go through these instructions quickly before the paper starts so that you know in, if there is any change in the instructions. Okay and there are going to be four sections of 50 questions each okay you have to accept and then you are ready to begin okay this is how the paper begins and as i told you four sections 50 questions each the important thing is the sections are timed every section is going to have a timer running here okay and once a section is i mean the timer runs out there is an auto submission okay so it is not that you have a three hour paper 200 questions effectively you have to divide the three hours into four parts okay and every 50 questions are going to be divided into those one fourth one fourth one fourth and one fourth of the timer so in essence you have 45 minutes for 50 questions remember whenever you are doing this 45 minutes for 50 questions you are not you 45 minutes mein 50 questions karoge. you are supposed to finish your paper in 30 to 35 minutes so that you have 10 to 15 minutes to see the questions which were left okay and those which were marked for review okay you have to see them you have to evaluate them some of them you are going to attempt some of them you are not going to attempt so you need to finish your paper every section in 30 to 35 minutes that should be your target okay you should be timing yourself which means every 15 questions you should be timing your paper whether you are on, on time or not one thing is this second thing is because there is auto submission okay you cannot come back to this section once it is submitted okay this is a very important thing you need to be careful about because suppose you have decided normally what we say 200 questions and aims and select on so you need to do 185 to 190 minimum okay so your target attempt is suppose 190 anything above 190 is good okay 190 questions humne karne hai, but every section is going to have 50 questions if i am to reach the target of 190, it means I can hardly leave two to three questions per section. Okay. Suppose pehli section ke andar, aapne, you end up leaving around 10 questions. So all that you could have left, you have already left in the first section and you cannot come back to it again. So you have to be very careful. You have to be, you have to see 
दैट इफ इन द फर्स्ट सेक्शन यू आर फोर्स टू लीव फाइव क्वेश्चन इट मीन्स की सेकेंड सेक्शन या थर्ड सेक्शन या फोर्थ सेक्शन प्रेफरेबली सेकेंड बिकॉज अगेन यू कैन नॉट कम बैक सेकेंड सेक्शन में आप एक भी क्वेश्चन नहीं छोड़ोगे नॉट मोर देन वन क्वेश्चन और मे बी जीरो ओके सो दैट इट कम्स एट पार सो दैट इज वाई यू हैव टू रियलाइज दैट इन एवरी सेक्शन द मैक्सिमम यू कैन लीव इज थ्री क्वेश्चन पर सेक्शन एंड इन केस यू आर फोर्स टू लीव मोर देन यू हैव टू कवर अप इन दी नेक्स्ट सेक्शन ओके सो दैट इज वाई इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू टेक केयर ओके एज फार एज द टाइम इज कंसर्न एज फार एज द सेक्शन इज कंसर्न एंड यू हैव टू you have to see these responses you need those 10 15 minutes to cover those very questions which you have left out in the initial attempt first go me aapne dekha pura paper for pura section and jo bhi aapke mark for review bache hue hain ya fir aapne unattempted chode hain unme se kuch na kuch aapko attempt karna hai so that before the section submits you have ensured that you have not left more than two to three questions this is very important another important thing is that because these sections are on auto submission and you have four sections unless and until this first section or second section whichever it is gets auto submitted you cannot run jump to the other section to even see the questions so aapko nahi pata next section mein kya aane wala hai so and wo time bhi aapka carry over nahi hoga yahan pe jo 45 minutes jaane hain pure yahan jayenge and next ke liye 45 minutes milenge and that is how the sections are going to run you cannot jump to any other section not even to preview the questions so this is another important thing so uh, remember this is the pattern which was there till the last time there might be some changes the prospector has not released the, the new pattern so we don't know what changes they are going to make but yes more or less it is be on it, it will be on the same lines 